How is the church organized? All the members of the Church of Christ comprise a single flock of God. All are equal before the judgment of God. All are the royal priesthood. However, just as the parts of the body have different functions in the life of the organism, as is a housing, house building, each part has its own use. So also the church, there exist various ministries. The highest ministry in the church is an organization is borne by the hierarchy, which is distinct from the ordinary members. The hierarchy was established by the Lord Jesus Christ, first with the apostles, then their successors. The threefold hierarchy of bishops, presbyters, that is priests, and deacons, has existed in the church from a very early time. In the letters of the apostles, we cannot see any clear distinction between bishop and presbyter. Both terms were used most often as synonyms. But as the church expanded, there arose a need for senior presbyters in charge of communities in a single province and possessing the right to ordain presbyters for these communities. Thus, the office of bishop was correct, concretely established to oversee an area. Therefore, the bishops comprise the highest rank of the hierarchy. In general, everywhere in life, there is the principle of lead, leadership and headship. In the highest degree of the hierarchy, which rules over presbyters and deacons, is dictated by the very logic of life itself. The same thing is clear from ancient church literature, which proclaims, where the bishop is, there should the people also be. Just as also where Jesus Christ is, there is the Catholic Church, said Ignatius of Antioch. And, without bishops, there is no church, Tertullian. Among the bishops, there are some who are leaders by their position, but not by their hierarchical grace-given dignity. Thus was also among the apostles themselves. Although among the apostles there were those who were specially venerated and renowned, reserved as pillars, still all were equal, essentially, in their apostolic degree. The same mutual relations according to the principle of hierarchical grace-given equality remain forever in the church among the successors of the apostles, the bishops. However, when among the apostles there appeared a need to appeal to a higher authoritative voice or judgment in, in connection with an important misunderstanding, they met in council together, as found in the book of Acts, in chapter 16, verse 4. Thus it is today, the highest organ of the authority in the church, and the highest authority in general, is the council of bishops. For a local church, it is a council of its local bishops, and for the ecumenical church, it's a council of bishops of the whole church.